Hi everybody. Today we look at the velocity dependent potential. We have already seen con- conservative systems where the potential does not depend upon the velocity. If you are dependent depend on the generalized coordinates or the coordinates of the system not on the velocity. But here uh, we consider a case of uh, uh, the potential depending upon the velocity. The general form of the Lagrange's equation, we know it is d by dt of dou t dou qj dot minus dou t dou qj equal to capital QJ, where this capital QJ that is the generalized force. Okay. This guy capital QJ, this is the generalized force. And this capital QJ that is equal to minus dou V dou QJ for conservative systems where the potential depends only on the coordinates, generalized coordinates. So QJ, the generalized force is minus dou V dou QJ. And the Lagrange's equation In this case, uh, you know, it becomes this d by dt of dou L dou qj dot minus dou L dou qj where L is t minus v. We know what is t. It is the kinetic energy and v is the potential energy, the potential here. So this is uh, for conservative systems where L is t minus v. Now, the Lagrange's equation can be put, the Lagrange, this Lagrange's equation can be put in this form, in this form uh, provided uh, the potential is given by u equal to qj qj dot by this uh, represent uh, by this equation. Qj, the generalized force is minus dou u dou Qj. For conservative systems, it is minus dou, dou u by dou Qj. This was not there. Then plus minus dou u by dou Qj plus d by dt of dou u dou Qj dot. So the, uh, the generalized force, if it can be put in this form, then the Lagrange's uh, equation will have the form identical um, to the uh, form that we obtained for the conservative systems. Here u which is now a function of qj and qj dot. Okay, that's why we have this d by dt of dou u dou qj dot. So it's a function of qj dot. So it's a velocity dependent potential or generalized potential. Okay. So this type of potential which depends on the velocity as well that is called velocity dependent potential or generalized potential and we can see if the potential is in this form we can have Lagrange's equation uh, like this. Suppose uh, for a one dimensional case here we have d by dt of dot t dot vx minus dot t by dot dot x equal to v fx and this generalized force if it is written in this form minus dot u by dot x plus d by dt dot v dot vx okay that means it depends on the velocity u uh, that is a function of x dot and x x dot is vx so here we see uh, we can write if you take this to this uh, left hand side, we will have uh, dou, d by dt of dou vx t, by, t minus u, dou by dou x t minus u equal to 0. Okay, and this t minus u is now taken as a Lagrangian. Okay, this is taken as a Lagrangian. So we will have uh, a form identical to. Um, the conservative systems.
okay the only thing is now l is t minus in early it was t minus v okay so an example for such a velocity dependent potential is this um the force experienced by a charged particle moving in an electromagnetic field okay this type of um case of quasi in the case of charge moving in an electromagnetic field and the force is given by f equal to q e plus v cross b okay and e that is minus del phi do a by do t b is del cross a where we know a is the vector potential b equal to del cross a e e electric field equal to minus del phi minus do a by do t so um these are all the equations for the electric field and magnetic field where um, electric and magnetic field both are acting uh so and the force is given by this so if we um, substitute for uh, the electric field electric field i am substituting this for the magnetic field i have taken del cross a so we have v cross del cross a okay so this is the force now we are uh, taking the del cross a we are going to evaluate this del cross a i j k determinant do by do x do by do y do by do z a x a y a z as usual we find the del cross a so this is i do a z do y do a y do z minus j do by do x a z do by um do here it is x okay x do z then k uh, do a y do x minus do a x do y so as usual we evaluate this determinant we know how to evaluate it then that's not enough we have to find v cross del cross a okay del cross a is not enough we need v cross del cross a because and here we have v cross del cross a so uh, <coughs> we find v cross del cross a so this is i j k v x v y v z a del cross a components are this okay and we take just the x component just we take just the x component so what is x component what do you get i Uh, vy do ay do x minus do x do y plus do a z do x minus do a x do z so that is our uh, x component okay so this is the x component and we do we add and subtract v x do a x do x okay we add and subtract v x do a x do x so we add and subtract like that so we have vx do x do x vy do ay do x is it here we have this okay so uh, this term was not there we just added it and uh, subtract but we you know x x is actually a function of x y z and t okay x vector potential or rather x component of the uh, vector potential so if i take dx by dt this will be equal to do x di do x do x dx dt do x do y dy dt do s do z d z dt do x do t okay and we know this v uh, dx by dt is vx dy by dt is vy dz by dt is vz okay that we substitute and we have this vx uh vx do x do x vy do uh x do y we said do s at do so that is equal to dx dt minus do x dot
okay because uh, what we are uh, trying to find is dx by dt okay now if i take v dot a v dot a is this vx x vy yy vz dash and then do by do x of this i will be getting vx do x do x vy do ay do x your v z do ay do uh, do x okay so um, here uh the this thing this one this one is this do by sorry here this one this one is do by do x of uh do by do x of v dot uh a okay do by do x of v v dot a this we have found out so uh, we substitute it here and we have this v cross del cross a x common and that is given by do by do x of v dot a minus dx dt plus do x dot t okay f equal to uh this equation and uh, its x common and now can be written like this minus do phi by do x minus do x dot t plus do by do x of v dot a minus dx by dt then do x dot t okay do x dot t so fx is q into minus d by dx of phi minus v dot a minus dx by dt because these two terms will get cancelled okay and this do phi by do x this can be written like this phi minus v dot a uh, uh, partial derivative with respect to x okay so we have got uh, fx is equal to q minus do by do x of phi minus v dot a minus dx by dt okay so um, if i take uh, do by do vx of v dot a v dot a is this vx x plus vy ay plus vz dash set do by do vx i am taking so uh, as i do differentiate with respect to vx i will be getting x here phi we know that is independent of vx phi is independent of vx so we have um, uh, what we have here is um, dx by dt and uh, uh, we have seen do by do vx of v dot a is x okay so that we substitute and phi is independent of vx so i can safely write do by do vx of phi minus v dot a also so minus dx by dt that is equal to d by dt of do by do vx of phi minus v dot a so that we uh, give here the equation d by dt of do by do vx of phi minus v dot a here we already have minus do by do x of phi minus v dot a so now we define generalized potential u by this q charge times phi minus v dot a okay charge is common factor here so i can take charge here here also so u will be q phi minus v dot a uh, so this term will be u this also will be u so we have fx as equal to minus do u by do x plus d by dt of do u by do u do v x okay which is uh you know of the form that we defined earlier where the potential is now a velocity 
dependent potential, it depends on the velocity. Okay. So, this is exactly of this general form minus dou u by dou qj, qj is x here, d by dt of dou u, dou, u, dou qj dot, qj is uh, x, so qj dot is vx. So, Lagrange's equation, in this case, uh, take the form if qj is x, qj dot is vx, generalized forces fx, I will have this. Okay fx uh, you know we are substituting we are giving this so um, we have this as we take this them to the left hand side we will have this which is of our lagrange equation form so l is t minus u u uh, we, we saw we have to take u as this u has to be taken like this okay Q, u equal to q phi minus v dot so that as we substitute here we have l uh, l equal to t minus q phi plus q v dot a so this gives the lagrangian for a charged particle moving in an electromagnetic field and this is actually the lagrange t minus q phi plus q v dot a so we might be asked to obtain the Lagrangian for a charged particle moving in an electromagnetic field. Or we might be asked to provide an example for velocity dependent potential. Okay, something which depends on the uh, velocity, the potential which depends on the velocity.